fuzzy biker here in the mighty Minneapolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle. And check what I have behind me today. Check that hot rod out. That is a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650, but one like no other you've ever seen before. This thing is a real sweetie, and it's still a work in progress. A, I thought we'd get a look at it for now. This is actually probably the third reincarnation of this motorcycle. The original stock, a classic style, and then now this... He's just very good at balancing these kind of things. So let's go to the stock stuff. 648 cc, parallel twin, air and oil cooled, single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder with a six speed transmission. I'm gonna say it again, guys. Royal Enfield makes the best six speed transmissions. It's just an absolutely silky smooth transmission. The engine is a uh, 270 degree crank. So you get that nice womp womp noise. 47 horsepower in its stock form before the pipe. 39 foot-pounds of torque, that's 53 newton pounds. Real sweet engine. Uh, the, trick, the trick that this engine has that everybody, that you need to know about is about 90% of the torque starts at about 2,000 RPM. So you feel like you're never in the wrong gear. You always seem to have plenty of power. It's got a great clutch. It's, a, it's just a, a very friendly motorcycle in that sense. 320 millimeter disc on the front. It's a floating disc, look at that thing. I think these are Bybri, they're two piston, dual pot, anti-lock brakes in the front, ABS. The uh, front tire is supposed to be a 190-18, now this is a 4.1-18, I don't know how different that is from, you know, 120, but uh, it's not a stock tire, it's a Shinko Trailmaster. On the back he's got the same tire, I believe. The disc brake on the back is a 240 millimeter single pot, and I think these are aluminum rims on these bikes. You got the lighter weight. These are excellent, excellent handling bikes. The frame was, uh, Harris Performance was involved. Harrison Performance of England, they, that is a company that's owned by, by uh, Royal Enfield. And they are heavily involved in designing these things. And this is one of the best handling bikes for that reason. 41 millimeter forks on the front, 4.3 inches of travel on the front. That's 110 millimeters. On the back with stock shocks. These are not stock. The stock motorcycle has a uh, twin shock rear end with three and a half inches of travel. That's 89 millimeters. Now these are tech shocks, aftermarket shocks, and we'll go into more detail about that. But look, he's got compression down or compression, some other adjustments down here. I don't know what, you know, he's got a little more adjustment than normal. Wheelbase on this hot rod is 55.1 inches. That's about 1400 millimeters. And I can't remember the ground clearance. I think the ground clearance is 170 millimeters. Oh, seat height and stock form, this is not a stock seat, and we'll go into that here in a minute, is 31.7 inches. Although it just doesn't feel like that at all. That's uh, 805 millimeters. But look how narrow this is through here. Just well done. And gas tank, 3.6 gallons. And isn't that a, <laughs> it's good on this side. Isn't that a beautiful gas tank? Look at that, the chrome, the red, just the knee pads. And the wet weight of this motorcycle is supposed to be around I read anywhere from 445 to 470. Yeah. So that's the what it is numbers kind of thing. So uh, what it is now, what what the uh, what the owner has done with this, that's the really important part um, on top of the normal. So let's start with the engine. Tech exhaust, tech two into one exhaust. You've heard it, well, you'll hear it here soon. It makes a beautiful sound. There's a tech mark. It does have a removable silencer in the end, but uh, I think that's in right, yeah, it is in. But these are a really good pipe, and these are, oh, by the way, all these accessories are available at BaxterCycle.com. They have this stuff in stock. So uh, if you need any of this stuff, just get a hold of them. Enhancements. He does have this, I think it's an infield precision oil guard. Very nice. On the uh, bottom here, we've got this uh, sump guard. Um, jumping back up to the front, he's got the stainless fenders on it. He's raised the fenders slightly. And, uh, oh, let's just stay here. Uh, Moto... I can't think of the name. I'll put the name of these down below. But uh, these are aftermarket. Same company as this. Uh, to hold the headlight. Different, you know, they're kind of a machine piece. Very good looking. Aftermarket blinkers. Jumping up here. The same with the risers. Again, I don't know. I'll put the brand below. Um, built well. Built well grips. And I love the way you do the grips here. With this flanging gone. Just absolutely well done. And then... Uh, the mirrors, these little tiny beauties of mirrors, P-U-I-G, Pueg, Pueg, but they've got this texture to them. They just got a lot of real neat, fine detail. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And they actually work. I, I was riding around town, and they, they work excellent. I already talked about the shocks. Oh, back up here. Tech levers, they're adjustable with these levers up here. USB port right here. 
Oh, dual USB port. Very nice. So jumping up here to the tank, you know, he's got the red on the center, the gold stripes, Royal Enfield on the side, the knee pads on there, then to the side covers. Now he had these made, the red paint, the stripe, the Royal Enfield badging, similar to what's on the tank here. Just absolutely gorgeous. And he has another thing coming for that. We already talked about the rear shocks. He's put spindles on here, took the center stand off to save weight. He has a paddock stand in his uh, garage, so that's okay. Um, on this side, he's got an infield precision chain guard. Just a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's just a just a thing of pure art. Now stepping up, okay, over here, he's got the Royal Infield cover on the brake reservoir. I love the way he's detailed, like put the covers in here to cover those threads from the mirrors. Over here, he's got the Royal Infield oil cover, oil, oil uh, inlet cover. This, he put the Royal Enfield in red down here. Isn't that just beautiful? That really, that really, I think that helps a lot. That just really jumps at you, you know, with all the little details. Now here's where it gets niffier, even neater. Uh, deluxe touring seat, Royal Enfield deluxe touring seat. Let me get on the other side of this. So there's actually, looks like three kinds of vinyl here. There's this vinyl here, another kind here on the surface. And it's kind of an Alcantara here. Now I'm told there's like a special foam underneath here that's firmer, more solid, better than stock. But look at this uh, red stitching here. And that red stitching, you know, this is a red motorcycle, so that really goes good with it. But that's not where it ends. And what you can't see here is he has a cone cover that goes over here. It's red like this, and he's got it in the shop right now. He's gonna, they're going to do a bunch of uh, customizing to it to pinstriping and things like that. They haven't quite decided what they're going to do, but they're going to make it look good. The front fender, chrome add-on for stainless steel, whatever they are. Same with the rear fender. And of course the tail lights. Just an excellent job. Excellent job. I would not be surprised, I don't know this for a fact, but I would not be surprised if he upgraded the, the uh, brake pads. He's uh, very good at doing the right things with motorcycles. But what a good looking machine. What an absolutely good looking machine. I just love his work with these things. I love it so much that you and I, we are going to go take that hot rod for a ride. Wahoo! Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that sounds good. I like it. That tech pipe is awesome. Awesome. I like the way that all looks. Very visually appealing. Just this whole area right here is just gorgeous. Everything from the mirrors, the grips, the barrel shape, diamond pattern grips, the covers, you know, all this stuff is done right. Absolutely right. I love it. Let's go ride. Wahoo! Handling is superb. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or vintage bike of any type, Get yourself down here to Marnie, Iowa to Baxter Cycle. Let them help you out. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! Little spin test here. Like I said, the wheelbase is uh, 51, I'm sorry, 55.1 inches. That's 1400 millimeters. Look at that. It just spins. Even with those massive tires, it just does it so well. I love the way those tires look. Very interesting look. I love the interceptors. I, the uh, rear suspension on this, I've not ridden an interceptor with a tech suspension yet, so this is going to be interesting. Y'all hear that, right? <laughs> How can you not, right? So what is this motorcycle? This is the Royal Enfield 650 Interceptor. And the idea is, it's the Royal Enfield made a whole slew of these interceptors in the, uh, I think it was the 60s and 70s, very early 70s. Look at that, it just turns on a dime. And this is a the modernized version of this, of those bikes. I think the uh, ones from the 60s and 70s were, I think even the late 50s, they were 700s and then 750s. Now this is a modern 650. The idea with the motorcycle is you can get yourself into a very classic looking, well-mannered, good behaving, reliable, dependable motorcycle you know, one you can keep in your garage and treat like a car. It just goes out and runs. No problems, you know. Let's go to the left. Listen for the sound, my friends. I'm going to short shift because it's not my bike. What a dream. Oh, does it pull. 
the tech pipe really does make a difference in torque. I really believe that. The transmissions on these things are absolutely positive shifting. Smooth as can be. One of my favorite transmissions out there. I love it. I love it. Ho, 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 ho. This thing is set up right. This thing is an absolute joy. The brakes are awesome. I think the brakes, the brake lever is a little short for me, so I'm going to just hit that button over there. I'm showing off. Turn it around. We'll do a little spin in the highway here. Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds so good. This thing is a beauty. Performance beauty. I love these motorcycles. I just love them. About these tech shocks, I'd have to take it a long ride and really get the feel of them. Uh, right now I can tell they're different, but I can't tell you why they're different. They certainly have a different feel for sure. The tech pipe on the other hand, I'm just in love with that pipe. I've ridden several motorcycles with a tech pipe and they just always seem to perform excellent. They always seem to add, it seems it seems that they're set up for uh, low end and mid range. Royal Enfield is such a great brand. I, I'm just so happy with these things. A uh, new interceptor like this is between six dollars and $7,000, brand new, with a three year unlimited mile warranty. Welcome to the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycles, seller of new and used Royal Enfields, Triumphs, and vintage motorcycles of all types. If you're in the market for something like that, please get a hold of Jeremy or Mark. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Let's do a little spin test here. <laughs> it does very well. I like it. I like it a lot. Life is good. Life is good. And the torque is excellent. That's what I was saying about the torque. 90% of the torque is just over, uh, just over idle. And the torque curve is flat and very wide. I just love this thing. One of my favorite bikes. And why I don't have one, I don't know. I, this, this is one of their best engines. It's just a very well engineered bike. Me gusta mucho. And this is an excellent example of one. Just an excellent example of one. <laughs> what a thing of beauty. Okay, I'm going to take this back. Life is too, uh, <laughs> it's, it's getting too much fun. Things happen when you have too much fun, right? If you need any of the, uh, if you need a bike like this or any of the accessories like this, get yourself over to BaxterCycle.com or just come down here to the store. They have this stuff in stock, including apparel. Amazingly, they have uh, virtually every piece of uh, Royal Enfield apparel that they having the uh, Royal Enfield website here in their store. They've got quite a selection. Accessories, apparel, and everything. Anyway, what a, what a great bike. What a great bike. All right, my friends, if it's nice where you're at, get out there and ride. Wahoo!